Today, I want to read to you about a king in ancient Israel named Azariah, or we also know him as Uzziah. I'm going to read to you from 2 Kings chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, where we read this. And he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done, except that the high places were not removed. The people still sacrificed and burned incense on the high places. Now, those words concern a king over Judah named Azariah. He was also called Uzziah in 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 13, and many other places in 2 Kings, 2 Chronicles, and even the writings of the prophet Isaiah. Azariah, or Uzziah, he was a good king. We read in our verses today that he did what was right in the sight of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord was on this king, and he was rewarded with a long reign of 52 years. Azariah came to the throne in a difficult time. When his father Amaziah died, Jerusalem was in chaos. A significant section of the city's wall was destroyed. The palace was emptied of its many treasures, and some people of Judah had been seized by enemies as hostages. Now, considering all of that chaos, it's amazing to see what a good king Azariah was and how much he accomplished. Second Chronicles chapter 26 tells us more about this successful reign of Uzziah, or again, Azariah. It tells us that he began his reign when he was only 16 years old. It tells us that he reigned during the ministry of Zechariah the prophet. It tells us that he defeated the Philistines and took many of their cities, and also he kept the Ammonites in tribute to the kingdom of Judah. It tells us that he was internationally famous as a strong king. Uh, Second Chronicles chapter 26 also tells us that he was an ambitious builder and he was skilled in agriculture. And finally, Second Chronicles chapter 26 tells us that Uzziah or Azariah built up and organized the army of Israel, introducing several new items of military technology. So it's easy to look at the reign of Azariah and think that he was one of the best kings of Judah because he did in fact do so much good. However, the Bible goes on to say that the reign of Azariah didn't end well, and the seeds for that bad end were sowed much earlier in his life. We see this in 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 4, where it says, except the high places were not removed. Please notice that word, except. As with Jehoash in 2 Kings 12, and Amaziah in 2 Kings 14, the reforms of Azariah did not reach far enough. Each of these kings stopped short of removing the high places. These were traditional places of sacrifice to the Lord. We could say that these idolatrous high places were King Azariah's except. In other words, accept the high places. He did everything good except the high places. So let me ask you a question. What's your accept? Many of us have an accept in our life. You see, God has done so much in our life and we walk in a generally faithful way. None of us is perfect. And every day we stand before God, not in our own faithfulness, but in what Jesus did for us at the cross. Yet, there is something wrong when we know in our heart that we hide something like an accept the high places that God wants to deal with. Look, whatever it is that could, you could be said in your life, accept this or accept that. Then confess that thing to God. Receive his forgiveness for Jesus' sake and leave it at the cross. You can do that today. Music